Alright, before we get started on the video, I just want to let you guys know you can find all of the serum presets that I use in this track in the description below. I'll leave a link to it in the comments as well, so go check it out. Yeah, so there's all the presets from this video and there's a bunch more. Plus, I have a sample pack up there as well, so go have a look and let's get started on the video. Basically, I've kind of cheated and I've already started a little bit. I just wanted to get a little idea before I started any video. Um, but essentially, I'll show you what I got and how I got there. So this is a little intro that I've cooked up so far. Right, yeah, so pretty simple stuff. Um, I basically stole a demo tape splice loop. So it's just some little atmospheres. Um, it's actually 80 BPM, but I've slowed it down to 135 because I feel like that's the tempo that I want for the song. And this here, this is um, a serum preset that you can find on my serum bank. So yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good start of a track. Basically, I think you have like a little filtered house drum loop and yeah, we'll see how we get. How the fuck do I get out of this? No, I've used Ableton for years and I don't know how to exit this. How do I get out of this? Bruh. There we go. So yeah, I added this little lead. Um, this is another preset from my preset pack. But yeah, I'm gonna add that maybe as an intro and then I'm gonna like open the filter over time um, and see how I go. I feel like that bass is probably a bit too low. I'm gonna try to pitch the entire thing up. I feel like this pad is probably taking up a bit too much room um, of this lead so I did a little low cut and mid cut with an EQ just to take out some space to fit this lead in because yeah this is pretty prominent I might even turn this down a little bit <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, I, f I felt like some of the parts of that lead was a little bit too high. Yeah, I pitched some of the notes down a little bit because I felt like it was just a little bit too harsh on the ears. Um, and I felt like, you know, when things are going up and down, like that was ascending and then descending, it kind of lost its novelty after a bit. It's fine for the intro because it sort of, you know, builds like that. But once you have it in the drop, I don't know, I feel like Duskus kind of has like those little like sprinkles of synths. If you listen to Cut, I think it is, is like that swelling synth and it plays like a few notes at the start of a phrase and then drops off and then comes back in a little bit later so i felt like you know just changing up some of that was probably a better idea than just keeping the entire line in i also duplicated this and pitched it down a little bit serum preset i have the velocity tied to the filter of these notes so that means that the higher the velocity of these notes the more the filter will open up so if i play the c uh c sharp up here and i raise the velocity it'll open up the filter but if i put it down then the filter doesn't open up so much so i thought that was quite a cool little thing um tying the velocity to the filter because then it makes you know you can have a really expressive synth sound and that's sort of like really duskacy and how i thought that duskus did it so that's why i put in this synth preset <laughs> back to the intro now i kind of want to add this lead but only put it in little bits So I just put a little auto filter on that drum loop just after the drop. If you cut the low end of a drum loop, then it takes all the energy out and I didn't want any energy to stay in after that drop. I wanted a little chill section, so. 
Alright, yeah, so that's pretty much most of the track kind of finished. I got an intro drop section and a little maybe start of a B section. Um, I won't do the entire thing today. I could probably continue on with this another time. Yeah, so I got the main bare bones done of it, which is um, the main thing that I want to focus on for now. Lots of MIDI going on, lots of serum presets happening all at once, which is really good. Um, I always love using presets instead of samples. I don't have anything against using samples. I always use samples as well, but it's just a nice feeling when I make my own presets. Yeah, like I said before, you can get those presets that I've just used in this track down below in the Serum preset pack that I've made. Go check it out. There definitely are some really cool presets in there. So yeah, it's not bad. I think that lead probably goes on for a little bit long and it's probably a bit too busy. But the main thing is that we got, you know, solid track idea down and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Once again, go check out the Serum Preset Pack as well as my sample pack and yeah.